What's up you guys and welcome back to some more Super Speed Racing series and uh, we're back here in Charlotte Motor Speedway where we actually started uh, the first race of the series all the way back three weeks ago so we're going to start here but we're going to warm up here in our race and again I'm using the same car as I've done for the previous two weeks Oh, no what's happened here then? There we go That could be the reason why because I was using the clutch instead of the accelerator Big difference Okay, the one difference between normal races and the past three weeks uh, actually Basically, a huge difference in the past two weeks and this week was that um, I'm actually racing much earlier in the day here. I'm actually racing this at 1 uh, p.m. UK time, which is actually really early. Normally, I'll be racing this at about 5 6 o'clock, where most of the Americans will be on. So, this race is going to be mainly Europeans and possibly some hardcore Americans racing in this series today. So, would it be better for me? I'm not too sure. I'm hoping that this would be quite good for me as it, I do seem to be qualifying quite high for this one. Hopefully I'll have a good chance of getting into the lead and hopefully winning this one. So I've actually won a race yet in this series. I've actually raced a couple of them. Uh, I think I've had two wins out of the 45 starts I've had so far in this entire game. So that's almost, that is actually not looking low. But if you look at my top fives, I'm actually probably one of the highest top five in the world. So I either do really well or I wreck. That's basically how it goes. It's really rare if I get a medium in the race. So that's quite weird for my channel. But, we're going to see how well we go, we've got so it's going to be another 20 depth race in Charlotte Motor Speedway but this of course is 5 as you can tell, it's at night time so it actually makes the track a little bit more faster but it does mean that cars will be a little bit more aggressive and it also means that you've got more chance to spin now which I have sadly found out to be like my horror and sadly to my disbenefit as I have kind of spun out a couple of times here and one of them, I kind of spun out as in like third position, it was actually yesterday I did this I spun out in third position and I did take out probably about half of the track and actually, it's <laughs> half the track, so not half the track, and it kind of turned out to be quite disheartening for many drivers, especially when I actually took out the current uh, champion in the series, and for that reason, that reason alone, he's actually come down to championship standings, and now he's actually in um, second place at today, so I kind of apologise to that guy, and uh, let's see how it goes. So anyway, as I say, I'm actually currently running on my own, so what's happening here is, my laptops won't be as fast as some of the other guys, because I don't know any benefits of drafting here, which is something I can't always benefit from drafting, but sadly I'm not getting any benefits here. Oh, on this one out there, as you can see, that's kind of me having to snap the steering wheel back into place because it wants to go. The whole the whole point of this uh, kind of thing is that you're supposed to not break, as that guy's kind of talking in the chat saying you might want to break, something like that. But you, you want to not break, and I don't think you do break, but you do lift the accelerator if you see a slow car just in there. If you see a slow car going up the track, down the track, you may need to go off the accelerator, but sadly, nine times out of ten, that kind of affects you because the car behind you will often will not, and he'll get a good run off of you, so he probably will be in the inside for the next corner, so you can be overtake him. And for the first time ever in this actual racing, I've actually kind of, I think once I was actually in like third place, and a car pushed me on the FT outside because he got my inside, and literally about five cars took me on the inside for the next couple of laps, and I just fell from like third to eighth position, and it was absolutely a nightmare. It was so annoying. It was fun, because that's what, how probably all the racing backs is if you get pushed on the outside and you can't come back around because they were, they were getting really tight, they were bunching up purposely to overtake me, which is quite fun, but it's also really frustrating that you get pushed on the outside and it would overtake you quite easily. And there's actually much less grip up there. Although you can actually go faster, you actually you can go faster, but you can't get down the apron, so you can't get that speed of coming out of the corner, so it's a little bit tedious and a little bit annoying, but um, I think, I think the race should start now, because it's as soon as I said that the check flag comes out, and that's the end of free practice. I didn't get involved in any crashes here, which is pretty amazing for me. Well, quite often I'm getting... Actually, let's do another one cheat, actually. Full clutch, just let the car go slowly, 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 slowly. Okay, break, warm up, guys. Go I had no chance to break it anyway, so I was quite lucky. Okay, so, I don't know why I'm going to be in the qualifier. Let's see how we are. Let's see where we are. Oh! Second place, so I'm going to be racing with uh, <laughs> Richard over outside. there. <laughs> let's, let's hope uh, I get a good one on him, but sadly I don't think I have any ability to overtake him unless... Basically I've got two choices here. I can either drop behind him and take, hopefully overtake him later on in the race, or I could stay up here, try and overtake him on the first corner by going faster than him and making less mistakes than him, but I don't know. Quite often I start in the second row of the grid or the third row in the grid because I my qualifying lap times aren't that good. But as I say, because we're quite late in the day and most of the fastest racing drivers are from the States, it seems like quite a lot of Europeans about my pace in this game. So, 
Let's see if we can actually win a race here, or at least lead a lap, because I don't think I've actually ever led a lap in this. Have I? I'm not too sure, I don't think so. I may have done, but let's see if I can actually make a um, race in history on my channel at least, and get some good racing here. And I actually had some, some actually, one of my friends said that, should I do a uh, face cam on this series? And I'm not too sure about that one, because there'll be a lot, there'll be a lot of things obstructing my face and stuff like that, because my steering wheel is quite large, because it's one of the professional racing ones, so it'll be obstructing most of my actual body and face and stuff, if you get a certain camera. And that's a mount on top of uh, one of my many computers or something like that. But then it'll be a really high overview and it may not look as good. So I may have to look into this if you want to do face camera not in a race. It probably won't be for most of the series because that means I'll have to edit that out and I'll also have to have concentration while looking at the camera. And it may put me under added pressure, which I don't really want to have in these kind of races. Hopefully that my, my microphone is still on. I need to check that before I actually get into the race here. It's still but normally I don't use this microphone, as I keep saying, I normally use the blue Yeti over there, but because I can't really use it in this kind of racing scenario, because it can pick up almost every noise from the brake into the acceleration to the steering wheel and stuff like that. This one can, but because it actually has like picked up a lot more background noise compared to the actual the other one. So ready, it, it's, it's worse, but it's better for hearing my voice in ways of not hearing the clunkiness and stuff like that. Anyway, let's see how it goes. It's basically about to go up stuck behind this guy. Let's see what the acceleration is. Let's see when it's going to go. It's gone now. Luckily I was able to use the net there to see whether it would make a move or not there, so, okay. That number two guy's got me there. But yeah, it's number two and number one, number one, I think, yeah. Number one's got me. So, let's see how well this goes. I think we have to drop behind him, so, I can dig, I can be in third position now. Go on and take, go on and go inside. Luckily his tires are quite fresh, so hopefully I've got a good chance of actually being safe and stuff here. But that guy's going there. I'm on inside now. Oh, I don't want to be the track. on the outside, in fact, I don't want to be on the outside, but hopefully I can use the track to get me some advantage here by swooping down here and keeping close to him and actually hopefully getting a fast exit. Like, now, fast exit, please. Fast exit. Yes, faster exit. That's what I wanted to do. Done the undercut. Now, he's going to be faster than me, but hopefully if I can keep nice down, I'll give him a good chance of getting up here. So, oh, yes, good, 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 good. Sort of me. That's good. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to do here. See, I can't yeah, let myself go out there, so I get as much speed as possible car outside. So now I'm just going to drive behind the number two car, which and see if I can actually get some speed, making sure that the car behind me, I'm not going to come out today because it's quite hard to read as I go that quickly. But yeah, I'm actually quite nervous now, but always oh, going up high. He's going, to, he's going for the long run, but hopefully a little bit faster than the exit. So hopefully I get his draft in, and hopefully I'll be able to lead a lap here. Uh, people are, they've got some distance between people now because I think this is the fifth place is about right. second behind, so we'll see how well this goes. There's actually a slow car down below there, so that can be quite bad. Now, let's hopefully there's no bad draft that happens here, no harsh blocking, but. Oh, and nothing to mention now, I'm actually not beginning class now, I'm actually a D rank uh, driving at D license, which means not actually that much for this kind of thing, but it does mean that if I do level up the game, sadly this series won't be accessible. I mean, because it's only up to a D class license, so I'm pretty much the highest class you can be. And there's a bad example there, I kind of had to go the accelerator there, so I kind of had to slow down a little bit there because that car came down quite low and quite slow compared to me. So now that guy's been right on my ass and he could take me on the corner if he wanted to. So I have to make sure I'm quite low here, make sure that I don't get bashed into the number two car. Oh, please let me in, please let me through. Okay, yep, he's gone up high. Oh, come on. Come on then. Still there. I'm going to have to go as high as possible to make sure that I get a nice good view. Actually, come on. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Keep down low, keep down low, keep it slow. Keep steady, try and fight, don't fight the car, don't fight the car, don't fight the car, don't fight the car. There you go, clear. Done it, come on, lead lap, come on, we're going to lead lap. Yes, come on in. Yes, that's a, lead. That's a, that's a lap lead. That's good, that's good. I am the leader, indeed. Now that guy's currently overtaking him. So, it looks as if there's not any harsh competition, as I say, that my car is size so what's going around here. There we go, I'm leading. I'm going to go all up here, hop high, because I want to get as much speed as possible. Although that guy is faster than me, hopefully he's going to start battling with the other guy, so I should have a good opportunity to go quickly here. People have been liking the game, which is lovely, I love arguments. Often you just stare at it and you kind of get distracted by it, which uh, is going to happen. I'm going to leave a second lap, so second lap lead is going to be lap 5, over to lap 4, and lap 5 is my right, lap. There we go. Slow car! <laughs> Oh no, not good, I don't want a slow car in front of me, it's not good, it's a slow car. Hopefully he's going to let me go by, oh, okay, this car's starting to lose it now. And that guy behind me, I think his name is Marvin. Marvin's faster than me, he's going to go on the inside, oh, 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 blocking, blocking, I can't really block for much longer though, because you 
don't want to block because it does annoy people and they make it a little bit too frustrating, especially in this early in the way. So I might give him a little nudge to say, you know, I am here, but I might have to give him the position if he doesn't want the position, which is a bit, a bit annoying. But as I say, that these guys aren't terribly fast, feel about them roughly at their pace, so if one of them does make a small mistake, I should be able to capitalise on that and hopefully take up their position if I do have to get back in game, which I may need to do here because I'm going much slower than this one. Oh, okay, number 15, keep down. Oh, number 15, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Keep up high. Good, okay, he's gone now, I think. Clear. Yeah, they get clear, good. So I'll keep back up here, keep back down here. Just scratch my forehead there, which would be a bad decision there if I can him it now. Wow, I'm probably making no sense now because... Oh, okay, that's a spin. That's a spin. Okay, that means that it's just down to me. And no, yeah, I think that's pretty much just made sure that it's just me and, and Marvin now to win this race now because there's probably a one second gap now and he's out of the draft here. So as long as we don't do anything too stupid, battle too hard with each other, it should be easily one to finish for us now. Now, who comes first, who comes second? I'm not too sure and I'm not too sure of who will do this. But as long as I keep up high and make sure that I'm a capital and get as much speed as possible, this will be the best way we win it now. I've actually been leaving for quite a few laps. Oh, okay. He's, made, he's kind of making these intentions like he is. He's keeping down low. He's okay now. The car's gone. He's got me on the inside. Yep. So I'm kind of giving it back to him now. Hopefully, he'll get some pressure from me though, because I'm not going to give him that much lever. I'm going to basically do what he did to me and keep up his back bumper and making sure that he doesn't get away from me there. I don't want to get that car away. Okay, he's on the inside. So I'm going to move back down try and get as much speed as possible. I'm going to draft the white from his backside and see, look, he's taking that line. But I've got more speed. I'm closing in there. I'm closing, I'm closing, I'm closing. Oh! oh. oh yeah, he's giving, giving it back to me. Wow, okay, okay. Chris, slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. The car doesn't want this too much here. I had to get back to him because the car was in a very shallow angle. And that would be not have gone too well. Okay, so we have to hopefully yeah, take it stay live yet. Yeah, I know. So he's, he's faster than me though, so he's going to take me back on the outside, but that's only because they clear, 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 clear. He's going to shoot down, they're going to shoot down. No he's not, yes he is, yes, no he's not. Okay, I did know he was going to do, ooh, he got on the outside there, so I'm now on the inside again, and hopefully he's going to show up. I'm going to keep looking him if he that does annoy me, but I'm going to have to keep looking at his position because I can't see him in my mirrors, but okay, I think he's, they're going to clear. I'm down low, so he's going to be okay. I saw him last time, he gave me the position, so obviously he knows I am still there. So there you go, I think that means I'm, yeah, I'm taking him, I'm taking him. Good. So he's led a lap now, at least. I don't know if he led one earlier, but he's now led a lap, and I'm now leading the game. Now, the problem is we're going to be battling, and that means that that John Sinner will be there. can't be that sort of because it's quite a large one. But he's now closed up now, so that's not good, I think. If he wants to race, we can't battle with him anymore, because this could be a bad thing, because we could be battling with uh, third and actually no, we just third actually because yeah, I think it's just good. okay. Oh, he's going inside. Okay, give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight him because I don't want to have that other guy. You know, yeah, he's closing in fast. Now. This is not good. I don't want a fast car closing in because with him closing in, every second he like every point of the second he closes in, the more drive he gets, the closer he'll actually. There we go. Oh, well, that's, that's quite uh, sneaky there. So if he gets in here, he could be much faster than both of us put together, especially when we're battling each other. So I'm oh, okay, that car's doing what I think he's done. Okay, thank God he he, he noticed we was there, which that could have ended up a disaster. But it does now mean that we're battling. He's got the inside there to make sure, and I can see that the cars coming right up the arse of me now. So we now go first, second, and third together now, which is something I didn't want to see, didn't want to know, because that means that if there's more chance of getting involved in the incident here, there's also more chance of coming in third place now. I was kind of hoping that he would have stayed behind the other guy, but sadly, sadly I'm battling, and sadly that car coming down off the eight, uh, come down. Actually, that car coming up, I should say, off the eight. Oh, well, that pit's actually really kind of fucked over a bit there. Oh, car spun, car spun, car spun. Okay, he's on the inside line, so he should be quite safe there. Let's come back up. Oh, that was close. I think we all must have lifted there. I think we all lifted there, so I don't think anyone gained in here on that one. That, I, I do like it when no one gains that, and we all kind of take it apart ourselves to slow down slightly just to give ourselves the ability not to get involved in the wreck. Because people can fully utilise that and just go flat out but they could do damage. I think we all could slow down at a safe pace. We all lift off so we actually have full control of the cars. If something was necessarily needed to happen here but okay lap 14 so I think when we get to about lap 18 we will need to start making a move move so okay if, if the car didn't do off just in there okay that's not good the cars I'll have to fight the car but I'll fight the car I'll fight the car okay the car got a bit loose then and I did not want to Okay, so, okay, 
this is not going too well actually. This is going quite good, but I want to get a win here, but I don't want to push too hard because I think what I need to do is just follow the number two guy, get right up his ass, make sure that um, number four, actually it goes one, three, four, actually that's the kind of positions here. But I don't know what number two's gone well. <laughs> number two's in front of us there actually, it's really good. But we just don't want to make any bad mistakes here. But I don't want to kind of flip the car around or spin the car around, I don't want to get it like cheat, so I just want to keep behind that car. I don't care if I lose a couple of attempts or something like that, as long as I have the ability to close on him in the final couple of laps or so. So we've got five more laps to go now, which... And actually, we have been happy to have my frames, actually. Okay, I'll let off the accelerator there, just so I've got the ability to keep down the moment, the ability to hopefully go fast off the outside here. So we have to, yep, there we go. He went slower, so I can now make... I'm not going to actually make a move here, I'm just going to stick behind him. Oh, okay! Okay, what's happening? Yeah, I can see smoke, that's not good. Oh, smoke is happening, yeah, I think some of the engine just blown, which hopefully, he, yeah, he's down, he's down below. Hopefully he's not going to decide to come up here, which we both give him space here just to make sure that nothing happens. He's number one, actually giving him more space than I did, so hopefully I'll get a way to capitalise on this. As I keep saying though, I don't want to overtake him, because it's, it's a bad thing on his kind of racetracks to be leading about four or five left to go, because if he decides to make a move and he can pull out a couple of attempts on me, it'll be almost impossible to be able to beat, actually. I'll be able to catch him up, but whether I'll be able to get an overtake him in here is unknown. Because you want to make sure that you're always down low, and you want to make sure that he takes you from the out goes around the outside, because as long as you're able to keep the actual steady and not go anything too wild, you want to be able to do that. So, next lap, I will try and make a maneuver here, okay? It's nice to know that the actual guard behind is actually slowly starting to fall behind, so that's good. Because we're not battling it, we're making sure that he's down to more pace here. That's what we actually want to do, is get more pace here, we'll make sure that we actually know what we're doing. I'm going to keep up high, telling him that he can actually still move the speed. Okay, left the bottom there, just to make sure I don't go right his arse and put kind of fucking over there. I don't want to hit him, I don't want to hit him, but I don't want him to do that kind of speed. Okay, apparently I'm on the inside now, apparently I'm on the inside. So, we've got three laps to go, and is this a good time? I don't know, I did say I want to make a move this lap, so... This could be a good thing. If these two guys start battling with each other for the next position, this could be exactly all right. Okay, let the car go up, because there's no car in front of me, so I can just let the car go. No, okay. He's got me in the inside there, he's got me in the inside, so I need to get as much get inside, get as much speed as possible. Speed, 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 speed. Okay, speed. Close the catch football. Okay, he's still there, bollocks, he's still there. This is exactly what I didn't want to do, but I kind of fucked up the corner, so okay. Keep down, keep down, keep down, keep down, keep down. Okay, clean inside, so I'm gonna come down to make sure that I know what I'm doing here. So here we go. Here we go. Okay, we've got two laps to go. Now I didn't really want to be in this position. I didn't really want to be in this position. I'd rather be when I'm... Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay, made a mistake there. I'm going on the inside. I'm going on the inside. There's a car there. I'm going on the pipe. Okay, what's the middle? Okay. Good, good, good. Good in the middle. Free wide. Okay, two cars. This is really spot to go. Okay. Stay there. Okay, it's giving me it. It's giving me it. It's giving me it. It's giving me it. Good. Okay, they're battling. They're battling. Good, good, good. Final lap! Okay, final lap. Okay. Make no mistakes here. And I think it could be possible for me to win this one. Okay, keep, keep the car steady, keep the car steady. One more lap to win. Okay, this could be my third one in the scene. Okay, this could be good. Keep down low, keep down low, keep down low. Make sure the car doesn't spin itself around. Okay, point for your second. That means as long as I don't make anything too stupid, I should be able to win this one quite easily. Okay, they battled each other there, so I think I might have annoyed me a little bit by going a little bit up high, kind of ran him up on the track, but that wasn't really my fault, it actually wasn't my fault, but I didn't try and do that on purpose, but the car got loose, so I can't I don't want to, like, oversteer, so the car doesn't lose it out too much. But point to a second, I think I might be able to win this one. Keep down low. Oh, he, t he tagged him! He tagged him! Wreck! We got a wreck, we got a wreck, we got a wreck. But, we've also got a win! That's a win! That's a win! That is a win! That was a win! Amazing! You won! There we go! You just toyed with these people today. I know, I did, actually! <laughs> that was actually a bit of a game, you know, I quite like there. Okay, so second and third got in wreck there, so that might be a little argument happening over there as he kind of... Uh, Clipped each other, number one and number four got into each other there. But I, I'm amazed with that one. Okay, they, <laughs> that made no sense there, but wow. Okay, that was a win. That was a win. Oh my god, that was amazing. Yes, we did it! Okay, so it's taken three races to win, and hopefully I'm going to go up in the championship now because I've got a win under my belt again. There we go, there we go, yes! I told you I like this racetrack, I told you this is one of my favourite racetracks and it's kind of lived up to its name here as I managed to do win. There we go. Superb. And my frames kept quite stable there so today might be a good day. I picked the perfect time to race 
I picked up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> what a waste. Yes, I actually recorded it. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. I think okay, I'm really happy last time. I don't know if she's the last race actually, one. I remember getting really happy last time, but all I know is that this was amazing and. Number eight, where's the number 8 star case there? Good. Ah, oh, yes, another good race. I'm doing really well recording now. I'm really happy with this one. Them two are having an argument, I think, here, but that guy's just raving up and down because he knows that's the end of the race. But, should we have a little quick look at what happened last time, shall we? Okay, let's have a look at what happened last lap, shall we? So we'll go a lap below, lap below. Is this the final lap? I don't know. So let's go to number four. And let's watch what he did here. Okay, this is actually no longer four. I think we should go number one, actually, because number one was the guy who got wrecked here. So let's see what happened here. Plate from this guy's perspective, and we'll see what's actually happening up here. He got forced up wide, mainly because of me. So number four guy got kind of down low. And you can see me getting quite a good lead here. He's actually driving off the back of him now, making sure that he can get as much speed as possible. For some reason, he's going to have some stuff. I'm uh, not activated, so let's see what's going on. That might be a bit of a to say, maybe like it's fate or something like Anyway. So number four keeps going down low. This is what I talked about before. This is why I don't want to race quite quickly because if you don't need a little accelerator, you can clip the back of him, you can spin him out, and that's exactly what could happen. That's why I always left him off there because I don't want to get involved in that. He slowed down straight away. Let's actually watch number four's perspective for what happened here. As you can see, he's in the grass now, so let's see what he did. Let's see how that turned out. Ready? You can see him. He's right on my He paid no attention. I think I've got off his fault me just to make sure I didn't lose the car. And uh, he went a little down low, kind of took his speed, and he got hit. And he went all the way around. Did he, did he finish though? Did he finish? Uh, I think he might have finished though. I think he might have actually finished it. Yeah, he did. But I don't know what position. I don't know. I think that's 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. Uh, eighth, ninth. Oh, he did it again! Okay, there you go. I think he finished about 8th. Uh, I think he finished about 9th or 10th there. But he should have got a second place though. That's, he should have been a second place, but you know. That's how it happens in racing, and he's really unhappy now. You can tell that he's just, he's probably really unhappy with that one. Although he did get kind of a little bit loose there, that did not, he did not deserve that. But as I say, that there was a very good race at the end of that, so that's how it ended. But thank you guys for watching. This has actually been a really good ending. As you can see, I've just kind of had a little replay of that guy there. If there's any other good crashes I would have noticed about, I would have replayed that for you guys as well. Especially when my frames are keeping nice and steady, which I'm really happy with. So until next time, you guys, I've been Luke. This has been one of the best races I've actually ever done in this. It's been quite fun, it's been quite action packed. And uh, until next time, you guys, until we go back to um, USA Raceway, I believe, whatever it's called, US Speedway, whatever it is, for the final race of the season. But until next time, you guys, goodbye and whatever I was going to say. <laughs> until next time, goodbye, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.